Integration with SharePoint In this video you will learn how to integrate a process with the SharePoint server to store the files uploaded from the process work portal. For the sake of illustration we will use the following example. A bank has a product request process to approve or deny a set of products requested by a client. This process starts with the registration of the client's information that includes a photocopy of the client's identification document. In order to access and manipulate the file across all departments within the bank, the image is stored in the Enterprise Content Management ECM product SharePoint. We assume that the SharePoint server is installed and properly configured, Take into account that by default the CMIS services layer is not installed. Therefore you have to install the SharePoint Administration Toolkit which contains the CMIS connector. We assume also that the repository and custom content data types have been previously created in SharePoint. To integrate a process with the SharePoint server, we need to configure a connection to the ECM repository and define the folder which will be used to store the document. The ECM folder must then be associated to a file type attribute of the process data model. This attribute will contain an image of the client's identification document. Finally, if the custom content type selected for this attribute contains metadata, we select an XPath to automatically set the ECM metadata value when the process executes. The first step is to define the ECM, so go to the Modules view and then select the Systems menu. Click the New Systems Action button on the contextual menu. Enter the name SharePoint for both the name and display name. Click OK to create the system. Navigate to the tree structure, expand the newly created SharePoint system and select ECM connectors. Right click on this and choose the new repository option. This opens a new window. Type the name and display name of the repository. Also, include the connection URL to the SharePoint services with a valid username and password. The URL must point to the CMIS services of SharePoint. Furthermore, note that Bisagi can be integrated with any ECM services layer that complies with the CMIS standard version 1. Select the parameter value column for the repository name and then click on the button that appears on the right side. Bisagi connects for the first time to SharePoint and retrieves a list of repositories. Select the Client Document Files repository as this is where the uploaded documents are going to be stored. Bear in mind that you are able to configure any repository defined in SharePoint. In the Repository Control window, click OK to create the new repository. Expand the ECM Connector node and select the Bisagi SharePoint repository. Click the New Folder Action button on the contextual menu. In the new window we need to search for and select the ECM folder that will be used to store the document. In this example, a folder named Client Document was created in SharePoint. Select this folder and click OK to save the setting. At this point we have specified the system, repository and folder in which the files will be stored when a user uploads documents from the Process Work Portal. We have to associate the ECM folder to a file type attribute of the process data model. Therefore in Modules view, go to the Entities module and select the client entity to edit its attributes. The attribute in which the files will be stored is called Document. Select this attribute. The Properties dialog box appears once the attribute is selected. By default, the folder property is set to Bisagi. This means the uploaded files are going to be managed by Bisagi and not by an ECM. However, in this case we need to store the files in SharePoint. Change the default by selecting the previously defined ECM folder from the drop-down list. Notice that we are selecting the client document folder that we created in SharePoint. When a folder other than Bisagi is selected, the property ECM type appears. In this field we select the content type data of the uploaded files to be stored in SharePoint. In this example, the custom content type called Client Document ID has already been created in SharePoint. Double click on the content type to select it. Click on Finish to save the changes made to the attribute. 
Go to the Process Wizard and select the third step, Define Forms. In the Process Diagram, select the Client Information Activity to add the Document Attribute as a field in a form. The Modeler form is shown. Drag and drop the Document Attribute into the form. This will result in the automatic upload of the Client Identification image when the Client Information is registered. Save the form and close it. This tutorial shows how to integrate the process with a SharePoint ECM system to store files attached to a process activity. Thank you for your interest in Bisagi.